Hello, and welcome to another episode of Real Fast Recipes. No! Real Slow Recipes. That's right. Today we're going to be making meatloaf. And it's going to be delicious, and it's going to be wonderful. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It does. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? What? Oh, whatever. So the ingredients. Here we go. One pound ground beef, one onion, one potato, one egg, marvelous. Two tablespoons of coconut oil, and breadcrumbs, and finally ketchup. So, let's, be, let's begin. You want to cube the potato up. So here I slice, then I'm going to dice, and finally I'm going to cube it. Next, we're going to dice the onion. Be careful now, because it stings a lot, as you'll see soon. Yeah, I cried. You know, what else is good is, when I'm sad, I like to cut onions. True story. Alright, so you want to prep the skillet now. Put it over medium heat. And then now we're going to put some coconut oil in there. This way the coconut oil is a little sweeter than vegetable or anything. It's also healthy. So it would be good for you. Alright, we're going to first cook the onions. Look how we got here. They sounded wonderful, didn't they? Next, we're going to mix in the potatoes. Now, you don't have to cook these a little too long, but you want to cook them so they're nice and brown. And then, the rest of it's going to be cooked when you put it with the meat and you bake it. Alright, so now we're going to transfer, trans over, transfer over the vegetables to a plate, or I mean a bowl, so they can cool down for a little bit. I give it about 5-10 to 10 minutes, depending on what your uh, threshold for pain is. Alright, now we're going to put the beef into the bowl. Now this is after the vegetables have cooled down for a little bit. And the reason I'm telling you it's going to hurt is if it's still hot, you're going to burn your skin because you'll see, you're going to be mixing it with your hands. So season it with salt and pepper, then we're going to add some breadcrumbs. This will help congeal it together and make it a nice kind of doughy mixture. So here's how you mix it all up. Make sure you're very thorough so that it's even. And then you'll notice that it'll start getting a lot chunkier and stick together more. Now you want to crack an egg into it after a few minutes because this will actually help keep it together a lot more so you can form a loaf out of it. Alright. So now we're ready to transfer over the big old meat mixture into a pan. And just shape the loaf. Sometimes people use... a uh, meatloaf pans but it's you don't need to buy that it's easier just to shape it yourself see look at that nice meaty loaf all right now the ketchup so what you want to do is put the ketchup all over on top and then coat it evenly and I know a lot of people use fancier sauces but you don't need it this ketchup will do the trick the sugar in it will caramelize and it'll be nice so prep the oven to 350 degrees. I always forget to do this first, so just remember to do it. <laughs> now place the loaf into the oven, and you're going to do it for an hour. And you can do whatever you want for that hour. As you can see, I sleep, I watch TV, and I work out. Now the loaf is done, so take it out, make sure you... Uh, Use towels or some kind of oven mitts because it's going to be hot. Look at that. Now cut the loaf. Now you can cut it in whatever size you want depending on how hungry you are or how hungry your company is. But just put it on and then plate the loaf. You could either have it with salad or you could do mashed potatoes if you want to make those. Or whatever. It's delicious. It's meat. It's protein. It's good for you. 
So there's the final product. I hope you enjoy your meatloaf as much as I've enjoyed mine. Now go out there and have fun.